Once upon a time, in the city of Big Ben, there were three siblings, Wendy, John, and Michael. Every night before going to bed, Wendy would tell her brothers a lovely story, the adventures of Peter Pan. Peter Pan was a very brave boy who lived in a place called Neverland. Every day, with the help of his friends, the Lost Boys, Peter faced the evil Captain Hook. One night, while Wendy, John, and Michael were sleeping, someone silently snuck in through their bedroom window. The mysterious visitor walked through the nearly pitch black room, guided only by a small shining light. Because he could barely see, he tripped. All the commotion woke Wendy up, but when she turned on the light, she couldn't believe her eyes. It was Peter Pan and his fairy Tinkerbell. It turned out Peter Pan flew there every night to hear Wendy's stories. Come with me to Neverland. The Lost Boys want to hear these stories, Peter said. But we cannot fly like you, Wendy responded. Then Tinkerbell sprinkled them with fairy dust, and magically they began to float. After flying all night long, finally they could make out the island of Neverland. From the sky, they could see the camp of the Piccaninny Indians, the Mermaid Lagoon, and Captain Hook's pirate ship. Around the ship, there was always a giant crocodile. Many years ago, he gobbled up Captain Hook's hand, watch and all. Ever since, he's been trying to swallow him up whole. Meanwhile, in their secret hideout, the Lost Boys impatiently waited for Wendy and her brothers to arrive. Peter and his fellow travelers didn't take long to arrive to the secret hideout. Please, Wendy, tell us a story, the Lost Boys said as soon as they saw her. But when Wendy was about to start her story, the door burst open. Oh no, Captain Hook and his pirates, Peter said alarmed. Hook had followed Peter to the Lost Boy's secret hideout. Finally, I found you ruffians, said the captain. I will take you to my ship and you will be my prisoners. After a long walk, they arrived to the pirate ship. Throw them overboard, ordered Captain Hook. <laughs> Luckily, Tinkerbell had been able to hide when the evil pirates burst into the secret hideout. Very carefully, without anyone seeing her, Tinkerbell snuck up to Peter to untie him. Thanks, Tinkerbell. Now I can fly and face that cowardly captain, Peter said. On guard, Captain Halfwit, shouted Peter Pan. You again, ruffian, Hook responded. How did you escape? <laughs> Peter Pan and Hook fought all throughout the ship, until, in a moment of carelessness, the evil pirate slipped and fell into the sea. Tick-tock, tick-tock. From the stomach of the giant crocodile, the sound of Captain Hook's old watch grew closer 
and closer. Careful, Captain, the monster! The other pirates shouted from the boat. When he saw the crocodile lick his lips, Captain Hook was terrified and swam away as fast and far as he could. This has been an unforgettable adventure, exclaimed Wendy. But it's time to go home. Mother and father will miss us. And we miss them, the brothers responded. The Lost Boys decided to have a big goodbye party for the three children. And all of the inhabitants of the island came because they were also celebrating that Captain Hook would never return. Never again to Neverland. Never again to Neverland.